The hierarchy of the MCU universe continues to shift as more and more rotten projects and less and less box office money is coming in. But it's not all bad considering that they're still beating much of the competition. So let's talk about an update on the box office because in a week and a half, Ant-Man 3 has made more than Black Adam in its entire run. If you could go back in time and tell Marvel Studios that, hey guys, you see how much money you're making with Iron Man right now and see how the Incredible Hulk has bombed, don't worry. In slightly over a decade, Ant-Man 3 is going to make $400 million in less than two weeks. You would probably be thrown out of the office as fast as possible because nobody would believe you. But hey, that's where we're at. So yeah, Ant-Man and the Wasp has officially passed $400 million and it's on its way to... Um, unknown numbers nobody can seem to guess where this thing is going to go especially after that a uh, huge second weekend fall so we'll see what happens but as most people are showing on the websites that are uh, looking at analytics you know obviously analysts yeah comparing this to the most recent offering from the competition aka well black adam it's managed to pass black adam this isn't surprising to some people, it might be because uh, if you go back to predictions in very early 2022, Black Adam was being positioned as this $700, $800 million film. Ant-Man 3 was being positioned as possibly $600 million tops. So again, this is just telling you that analytics are never really uh, going to go the way you expect unless it's a guaranteed hit. And not even Ant-Man 3 was a guaranteed hit despite having two successful prequels. So we'll see what happens in the long-range forecast and what happens in the end. But this is just one of those things where I think uh, the investment in Marvel Studios that's still there, obviously, has fallen. But it's not as bad as some people think. And this, I think, just shows, despite even bad reviews and being way down there in terms of Rotten Tomatoes, with Black Adam, Marvel Studios still has this hold on fans. And despite what people say, you know, critics mainly, people are still going to go see it and judge it for themselves. Where some other films, they still don't trust it. And that's the uphill battle that DC always has now. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, Ant Man 3, despite bad reviews, it's doing pretty good. Could be doing way better. Yeah, but hey, it is what it is, I suppose.